Hey Capsuleers, it's Oz aka Boy Wonder here again and uh, it's a late night here in Phoenix, Arizona. Got work in the morning but I was hoping to show you uh, something cool. So uh, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here off this planet and go over to this other planet. Here we go. Um, I told you last time, oh shoot, this is episode 6 of my beginner's guide to PI. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, like I said, it was late. There it is late. I said last time that I was going to show you how to actually get the stuff off the planet, and that's what I'm going to do this time. So, What you need to do is find your Poco. This is a Poco. Look at it love it. There it is. I don't know, it kind of looks like a freighter or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and check our planet out here. Remember how I said that you maybe should put this command center near your stuff? That's why. It'll take you right there. Look at that. Well, look at this. is kind of familiar, huh? That design. I have the 3 and 3. I have this one here producing consumer electronics. So I have some factories producing uh, this cheerial structures, some producing toxic metals, and they all come together to make consumer electronics. Look at that. 520 consumer electronics. So what you need to do is click on storage consumer electronics can we expedite transfer no oh yeah that's something else what the hell am I talking about sorry long day um shoot yeah click your poco there you go boom poco the poco links up with your launch pad to use the poco you have to have a launch pad linked up you see this this is key. This is also why I told you. I said, hey, guys, don't use silos. Because this is why. If you have everything in the launch pad already, look at this. It's already there. So you can move stuff right to where you need to go. Boom. So right here, consumer electronics. Just move it over. Yeah, I'm going to put 520 in there. Boom. It's going to cost you a percentage. Depending on... Uh, who, you know, what the people have it set at. So this one right now is 15%, whatever. It can be better, but that's fine, I guess. 15%. Right there. Look at that. Consumer electronics. Quantity, 20. What you need, it's going to tell you how much it's going to cost. It goes off of, I think it's based off of um, perceived market value or some crap. I can't even remember really what it's based off of. Or maybe it's weight or something. I don't know. Anyways, transfer. You gotta transfer it if you want that. You want it, so right there. You gotta get close to it. Put it in your cargo hold. All of it. Look at that boom. This is also why I said to use a blockade runner. Cause look, I can hold fine. Look at that. Hold a bunch of that shit in there. Close it up. Get the hell out of here, dude. Yeah, come on now. Let's go. There we go. Here we go. We're zooming off now. Um. The best thing about, now you see, I hung out way, 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 way um, too much on that Poco, but I had local open, I knew there was just a blue in here, so you can actually access the Poco from like pretty far away, no, go that way, you can access the Poco from pretty far away, do your transfers, warp to the Poco, with your cargo hold open, scoop it up, and then get out of there. That's how I normally do it. I suggest you do the same. That's that. So that's how you do that. Um, yeah. We're, uh, that, I mean, that's, that's it. It's kind of sad, actually. Uh, so many memories of this tutorial, you know. Uh, I just remember when I first started. Oh, Jesus. No, but for real, I hope you guys learned something. I'll probably do one more video um, 
a step-by-step -step sort of, of setting a planet up. It's going to be a gas planet. Um, a couple tips. Okay. Avoid larger planets. Like this lava planet here. Okay, you go to info. It's going to tell you all this different stuff. Say, so, well, what does this crap mean? Well, just look. Look at it. Read the description if you want. It's fun. Look at it. Look at mass. What we're looking at here is radius. Okay. You want this number to be smaller. As small as you could find it. And that reason is, is for the links. If you have the planet smaller, you don't have to build links as far if you need to move your extractor heads. But if you have a huge planet, like a huge gas giant, you might have to move the links like, you know, all super far. And you won't have much room for factories or anything. Like, you won't have a lot of power. So, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but avoid it if you can, you know, if you can do it. So, um, like I said, this will probably be the, the final, or maybe second to find, you know, final uh, episode. I'll, I'll do one more where I'll, I'll set up one from scratch, and you can see how exactly I do it in the process. And then, you know, I might do some tutorial. I got a request from a couple people to do some tutorials on, you know, maybe scanning. And one of them was scanning. How, how do I, you know, hey, Oz, how do I do a hacking site? Can you do a video for that? Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Why not? That'd be fun. I guess. I mean, whatever. Uh, if I get around to it, I guess. You know, since I'm such a busy guy. So. But now I'm rambling, and, uh,. Nobody wants that. So until next time, guys, as always, fly safe and fly smart. Make good decisions. Uh, use a scout. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.